This is the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Ever wish you could re-listen to your favorite interview or segment? Do you enjoy hearing older shows for the first time in years? Then the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less is just what you need. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. That's right. I'm John Solberg, your host for the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. And I cannot thank you enough for listening. Want to let you know this edition is being brought to you by The Butcher Shop, purveyors of highly sought after 100% Australian non crossbred Wylara 9 Plus briskets. And as always, they are handpicked just for you. The Butcher Shop has been retailing the finest meats for the past 15 years. Every week, they're shipping out competition quality meats to many of the biggest names in the competition scene across the nation. Simply put, teams who use the butcher shop win and they win often. Hey, you're not a competitor, but you still have an eye for the finer cuts in life? Great news for you. The butcher shop is shipping some of the finest prime, dry-aged Australian Wagyu and Japanese Wagyu steaks to people just like you and me who aspire to be the kings and queens of their cul-de-sacs. The butcher shop always has Berkshire, Compart Duroc, Allegiance Duroc, and Prairie Fresh all-natural pork in stock. And again, always handpicked for you. Now, you might be saying, John, all this sounds great, but what about the exotic stuff? Well, rest easy knowing the butcher shop will get you your next elk steak or camel roast. They're going to ship it out promptly. Yes, they got some camel. Let's review the best competition briskets. Check. The best pork selection. Check. Giving you better overall options to cook at home. Check. So give the butcher shop a call today. 850-458-8782. That's 850-458-8782. Mention the Barbecue Central Show for 10% off your entire order each and every time you call. You can also get a hold of them through Facebook, facebook.com slash The Butcher Shop, shop spelled S-H-O-P-P-E, The Butcher Shop, home of the 100% non-crossbred Wylara 9 Plus briskets. And this is what's going on in today's episode from March the 4th, 2014, Ask Dr. Barbecue Ray Lampy's in. Let's go find out some barbecue stuff. Let me go over to Facebook here real quick, uh, Ray, and uh, answer a question for Buddy Burke. And he's saying, might be good to talk about, to the beginners, about building a charcoal stack for, like, smaller smokers, maybe like a, an Oklahoma Joe or maybe even like a, a Weber Smoky Mountain or some of those more popular beginner models. Well, I already answered that one, Greg. I told the guy to buy a big green egg. Oddly enough. Problems. So I don't know where, where you're bringing that one up again, but thanks. Um, oh gosh, I don't know, man. Come on. You don't know how to start a fire. I, I, I you know, you want to burn it on an offset in my mind, put some charcoal on there and get it started. I I'm not a fan of using lighter fluid like Myron does, but that, that's going to be long gone by the time any food goes on there. Start with some charcoal, get a little base going and then put wood on as you need. If you've got a little offset, don't try to cook with all wood. It'll be really bad. Uh, the, you know, we all went through that. I did it when I had my first little offset. Uh, I think I think it's one of those things that guys want to somehow be verified. I get it with big green egg guys a lot. They buy their egg. They've been cooking on it for five years. You know their food's good. They know what they're doing. But they somehow want, to, want me to show them how to put the fire starter wax thing down in the charcoal and light it. So come on, man. Get off of that. You know how to build a fire. Yeah, that's right, man. Just build your freaking fire. You know what I say? Uh, go to the Harbor Freight nearest to you and buy a, a, a weed torch, hook yeah, it up to your 20-pound yeah. bottle, and just let it hum for about three or four minutes, and you're ready to go. Yeah, I think that's a great yeah. idea. It takes all but the guesswork. Don't be afraid to use charcoal. You know, man, a, a handful of Kingsford briquettes, it, it, I, that stuff's fine. More barbecue gets cooked on that than any piece of wood you could imagine. And the guys on the internet want to get all fired up that it's bad stuff or something. You know, I don't like the stuff that's a pre-soaked, but don't be afraid to throw a little charcoal in there and get a little bit basic coals going. Uh, next question from Richard Parker. Uh, Ray, what's your favorite grilled dessert, and do you have a favorite grilled dessert recipe? Um, well, pineapple really seems to go well on on the grill. So that's probably a good place to start. Uh, I like to cut the pineapple into big wedges, like, you know, maybe four or six big long wedges and soak them in some rum and brown sugar and then grill them. You really want to grill it hot because you want to kind of get some char on there and then cut it into pieces and put it on some ice cream. I think pineapple just is great. But, you know, don't I've got I've been milking that one for years like I did on chopped. 
the uh, where I chopped up the moon pie and put it in a tortilla. I have redone that recipe a hundred times where I take a flour tortilla, spread it with cream cheese and put some dried fruit in there and some chocolate chips and fold it up and grill it. I've used that a hundred times in my life. So I mean, that's probably not my, I'm not much of a dessert eater. Uh, I don't, I don't, I like stuff that's not that sweet, but I sure do like cooking for folks. And then tortillas do really good and any kind of grilled pineapple. Ray Lampy joining us here on the show. Uh, Ray, next question coming in from Jeff Starks. Uh, and this, I guess, is going to be more of a competition question, and it's uh, about the ever trying to, f- it's like the holy grail of chicken, which is this uh, bite-through skin. And he says that he believes the judges should be grading on the meat, uh, on taste and tenderness and appearance, not necessarily about the skin. And I know there's a whole you know, conundrum and arguments that have taken place literally for uh, hundreds of years about uh, should the skin be included in that, should it not be included in it. Uh, where do you come out on that as uh, both a, a competitor and, and sometimes a judge? Well, it, I've seen the, the evolution of this over the years. Uh, it, I, I have, I only have one Jack Daniels jug in the cabinet and it was for chicken. Uh, God, I don't know, you know, a hundred years ago, but I cook drumsticks and I cooked them in my Jed master. I just cooked them like if I was going to eat them and turned them in. And back then you could do that. If it was cooked properly and it was good, you could win a trophy by cooking good barbecue chicken. But the nature of chicken in a smoker is that the skin gets leathery. I, you know, you can't argue with that. That's just how it is. It, it works that way. So then along came Jumpin' Jim with the whole, you know, the story, the, the chicken that the, he cooked in the butter in the pan and and actually, Jim didn't use the butter back then. But anyway, all this cooking it in a pan, and then guys would try to finish it hot on the Weber and get that skin crunchy. Well, that's a really good idea until you try to do it. it. It's almost impossible to do, really. And then on top of it, once you put it in a box and it sits around for 15 minutes, it's not very crunchy anyway. So then it evolved to just making it soft and just poaching that shit till it's just mushy. And, and I someone showed me how to do that. And and now I to this day I will do it if I'm cooking in a contest. It's repulsive, frankly, that the skin <laughs> is just like mush, and that's why it's bite through. But I, it seems to score well all the time. And and what's happened is this is definitely one of those things that the judges have been influenced by the cooks over the course of time. That bite through skin became such a big deal. Back in the day, it wasn't. Judges understood that when you cook chicken on a smoker, the meat's a little red and the skin's a little chewy. Just kind of taste the skin and move on and try the meat. Then somewhere along the way, we, well, we used to cook legs and breasts and wings too. Now everybody cooks thighs and they all have to be perfectly shaped and they have to have that bite through skin. And I think it's nonsense, frankly. Um, now, if if you if that makes your your eating enjoyment, having the skin be bite through it and you can eat it, I can't tell you you shouldn't score that good. And if you don't like the skin to be rubbery and that bums you out, you, you every, have every right to score that down. But if you know anything about cooking chicken in the smoker, you know that the skin is not that edible. So it, it has to be a grilling contest for that to happen. So I, I'm not a fan of it. I, I wish we didn't you have these these footprints like that that have to be met like the money muscle thing and and like the the chicken bite through skin nonsense and the thighs really um i wish we didn't have that stuff but it's taken a long time to evolve to that and and it's hard to break it and it's hard to tell those guys they're wrong all right uh, ray lampy weighing in on chicken skin now one last question here uh, ray before i turn you loose and it does actually happen to do something with the big green egg. A question coming in from a guy named Zombie Barbecue. Uh, what do you recommend for cooking multiple levels on a large big green egg? Are there things out there accessory wise that enable you to cook a, a multitude of things at one time during uh, for like a competition? Find out what Ray had to say over at the BBQ Central Show.com. Link in the show notes. Take you to the complete episode. You can search Ray Lampy over there. Just search Ray or just search Lampy. Great search feature. Take you to all the Dr. Barbecue and Ray Lampy sections, segments, times that he was on talking, I should say. Love Ray Lampy. Love his Chicago swagger. I've said it before. You look up Chicago swagger in the dictionary. His picture's there. Love that guy. Something else I love is the Butcher Shop Facebook page. Check it out. Facebook.com slash the Butcher Shop. Shop spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. Mention the Barbecue Central Show for 10% off your entire order. 
And until next time on the best moments of the Barbecue Central show in 10 minutes or less, I'm your host, John Solberg. I look forward to talking to you again soon.